Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I quickly wanted to do a get ready with me and talk to you about self-love, confidence. I was randomly just thinking about it this morning while I was laying in bed and I put a, uh, not a poll, like a suggestions thing on my Instagram if you don't follow me, follow me. Um, and a lot of people wanted to see more makeup videos but I feel like I just do the same thing so I thought that I'd get ready and talk at the same time. Um, for the sake of time, I already moisturized and put my primer on, um, but I'm going to start with this that everyone needs to get, the Revlon um, Full Cover Foundation Matte. I have the color 322 Beige. It's going to be darker than my face because my neck and body is darker than my face, and I'm breaking out, so just don't mind. Um, and this is an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I'm going to tag, tag. I'm going to link everything I use so that there's no, no, um, anyone mad at me about it. So, um, I'm just going to start doing my makeup and talk. I'm like so bad at doing two things at once, but let's start. Okay. So on the topic of confidence and like liking yourself and like self-love, I feel like it's a super depth topic kind of like, it's not just like, this is how you love yourself and like this is how you are confident. It's a lot of work, it takes a lot of time and it's different for every person. So I can really only talk about myself, um, like my experience with coming to terms, not coming to terms, but like realizing who I am and understanding like what I like and like um, what my my qualities are and things like that um there's a million self-help books out there if you like to read or if you do the uh, audible kind of thing I have to like but personally for me like what ha what's happened with me and to me is that when I became a stay-at-home mom oh my god that was like way too much crap uh, when I became a stay-at-home mom and like I was home all the time and I I just did a whole video about like how to stay productive and motivated um, I'll link that if you haven't checked that out yet um, but I definitely had some postpartum depression going on I didn't know like what I was doing with my life and like being a mother is the most incredible Thing that has ever happened to me my entire life but I'm more than just a mother do you know what I mean like being a mom is first and it will always be first and my kids will always always be first but like um it took me a really long time to to like figure out what who I was um also right before I became a mother um was a really really hard time in my life um huge changes like pretty much my hair is like wet I just got out of the shower um and I didn't know who I was um I had my first son when I was 20 and it's taken me pretty much since having him to maybe last year like about five years to like really truly like like who I am and to not hate every little thing about myself and pick apart every little thing about myself because this day and age oh shit this day and age with like social media and all this stuff so like for instance there are these moms on Instagram who are like beautiful they're like um whatever they are like lifestyle bloggers vloggers whatever um beautiful women that have babies and they post like there's a lot of them that post like the real real but then there's some of them post like seven days postpartum and they literally have no stomach like you would never know that they were pregnant so women who are in the same position look at that 
and they're like, oh my god, like my uterus didn't go back into its place until like four to five months after I had my kids. Like it takes a very long time. And for some people, hey, you might walk out of the hospital and look like you were never even pregnant. But um, everybody is different and everybody is unique. And going into that, like no one there is no other you like there is no other like that Instagram mom like there is no more of her like that is her and that is her body and you are you and this is your body so you really can't compare like you can't because um you are completely different people you come from completely different places you have completely different family like genetics everything like and people don't understand that like just because we're all humans and we're all have blood running through us and heartbeats like doesn't mean that we're all the exact same you know what I mean like because we're not and when it comes to like looks and like um you know graduating college or not graduating college or getting your GED or whatever you know what I mean like I just feel like there's so like life is all about like competition and um and comparing and it's just like you need to let that go and like for me how I let that all go was um first of all I'm I was at a place and I still am at a place where the people around me that support me through anything, um, good or bad, stupid or smart or whatever decision I make, um, I know that they're going to love me and support me. So like I was at a place where like I didn't question who my friends were, I didn't question my relationship with my fiance, I didn't question what kind of mother I was. Like. Um, I was at a place where I was like, this is what it is, this is who I am, and it is what it is. So basically how I think of it is that the bottom line is there's no other me in the world. There's no other Isabel Galvin, Isabel Carol Smith Galvin. Um, there's no other me. And no one is going to do anything for me. So like as an example... When I wanted to start my YouTube channel so bad and I would tell all my friends and I would tell Mike and I'd be like I have so many ideas and I want to do it but people are going to judge me and like think I'm weird. The only thing crippling me and like the only thing stopping me from starting a YouTube channel was my own fears and my fears of judgment and my fear of what other people would think of me. That was the only thing stopping me. So if that's one thing stopping me, it wasn't that I didn't have a camera. It wasn't that I didn't have ideas. It wasn't that I, um, well, I didn't have a ton of confidence in myself. It was the fear of other people of what they were going to think of me. But like what other people think of me doesn't matter. Like all that matters is what I think of myself and I know what I'm doing. And it's really, frankly, none of anyone else's business. If there's anything like stopping you from doing anything, like it could be anything, it could be wearing what you wanna wear, or if it's wearing a lot of makeup when you don't usually, or if it's getting eyelash extensions and you think people are gonna like, who cares? Like who cares? Because I sure as hell don't, no one else is me, no one else. And with all of that brings confidence that like, I'm going to do what I'm going to do and like no one's going to stop me and this is who I am and hello, hi, like who are you, what are you doing, like this is me, this is what I'm doing, you do you, basically to stop caring and that's super hard and in certain situations and like your friend group and who you're around, like if I, if all of my friends were like, oh YouTubers are the stupidest people I've ever seen and like YouTube is so dumb, I probably wouldn't start a YouTube channel. But because the people around me are so um, supportive and so open-minded and loving and caring of what I want to do, and this is just an example. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because I've done them a million times on camera and they take a long time and I'll be right back. So another thing that I wanted to touch on was like um, anything from your past that you're like beating yourself up over or a bad breakup or 
um, a fight with a best friend or something like that, um, it's really important to understand like each side of it and um, understand your part in it, especially. Um, it's really hard sometimes to like look at your part, um, but look at the situation and really, um, I'm talking like a, 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 not a serious situation, but like something that really impacted you and that made you upset or changed your life or something like that. And like look at your part in why that thing happened or what happened or um, how it happened and see how you can change that and see how like in the future that doesn't happen again. Um, and don't like dwell on it, like think about it, think of what your part was in that and move on. And I know that's hard and I know that it's easier said than done, but life is gonna keep going no matter what happens. Like people are gonna wake up and go to work in the morning, like stocks are still gonna rise and fall and the sun's gonna come up and then go down and the waves are gonna keep crashing and everything's gonna keep going and you need to too and whatever that is to get through it um you need to do and pick yourself up and like have like faith in yourself i don't know i don't want to sound like an inspirational speaker but i just think it's so important that like to just like don't dwell on the past and don't like don't beat yourself up over anything because Things are going to change all the time. Your situation is going to change. Things are going to get better. Happiness doesn't last forever. Sadness doesn't last forever. Nothing lasts forever, unfortunately, <laughs> to give you the God's honest truth. But this is the um, Wet n Wild Mellow Wine blush, by the way. Love this. So anyways, um, I just like find it really important to spread confidence and to... Um, embrace like yourself and embrace like my body is not like there's this um lately oh sugar do I need to sharpen this this is mac oak hold on I'm gonna grab another one this is a new um a new obsession iconic nude by Charlotte Tilbury I splurged and got this and it's so good anyways there's just like you know I I personally enjoy the Kardashians. I think they're iconic. I think that they have, especially Kim, has changed the beauty industry and the makeup and just, um, so for, in a good way, she's like changed um, that like 90s, like what was it called? Like the heroin chic, like super skinny models. Um, and she's changed that to like big boobs and big curves and I love that. But lately it's been like big boobies, teeny little shoulders, teeny little waist, and then this huge ass and little legs. Like whose body looks, whose body looks like that? Like these Fashion Nova girls. I don't know where in the heck you came from, but like the majority of women do not look like that. And uh, Facebook, Instagram has like really made that like you can look up like horror stories of Facetune of these like beautiful Instagram models that will literally my camera overheated. So these Instagram models will literally slim down their waist and slim down everything and then they keep posting photos and they have to keep that same exact look and they get caught up in it and it's like could you imagine what that does to your head like that's crazy that's crazy and it's sad and it's like and it's what it it's what social media has done to people you know um but i just like think personally that like you are who you are and that's beautiful that's you that is who you are and embrace that and like this gap in my teeth i'm embracing it like i'm not trying to hide it i'm not trying to like talk like this and like it's a big insecurity of mine like after i had kids my teeth moved around um my body's not perfect i have stretched out skin on my stomach from carrying two babies like i i have a little extra um 
chubby, whatever. And I'm insecure about that, but it is what it is. Like, I don't know. I can go to the gym and try to fix it, but I'm not. But, like, I should. But, you know, it's fine. Um, you know, I just think that it's, like, you are who you are. There is no other you. And embrace that. And be confident. And be like, hey, this is me. I got small boobs. What's up? Like, do you not li like, are you not going to like me because I have small boobs? Like, I know who I am. Like, I have an amazing fiance. I have the best friends in the world. Like, what do you want? You know? Is this making sense? <laughs> I feel like I'm going off. But, uh, you know, I know a lot of people like the big lip craze of the, ch of the millennials and everyone getting lip injections and like the amount of people that ask me if I get lip injections, which I don't, which is fine, which is, this is just how I was born. Like I didn't, you know what I mean? Like it just, it's just how I was born. Some people are born with really small lips. I have a weird nose that like goes up like a little, um, a little, um, what do I want to say? Board? Wait, what? I don't know. Like a, like a ski, like a ski slope? I don't know. Um, but like, hey, that's my nose. I don't know. Like, it's fine, right? Like, everything's fine. Um, and I feel like people are so like picky and so crazy. And hey, if you're in like the modeling industry or um, if you're an actor or anything like that, like, I think that that just is what it is. Like, if you look a certain way, people aren't going to like you. But the majority of people in the real world, that's not the case. I just feel like people take for granted so much. Who is that girl, Claire, who passed away, who had, um, a serious, her name was Claire. And she had... Uh, a term she was terminal that she was going to die and she would make all these YouTube videos if you haven't watched her video she did die a few months ago um, and she was in her 20s and she was incredible um, if you're ever like second-guessing life or your life go watch some of her videos they're insane they're they're amazing and it puts your life into perspective of like people are like saving up their money to get lip injections or saving up their money to I don't know what do something unnecessary and there's people in the hospital fighting for their lives that aren't going to be able to ever get married and aren't going to be able to ever have children and it's like, why do I care? Like, there are so many more important things in life, in your own happiness, in your own being, in your own life, that is so much more important. And I'm just here to remind you to keep that up front because um, I'll admit, it gets in day-to-day -day life when, you know, social media is such a huge thing and, um, just, like, I feel like life is just, like, everyone's competing to be, like, better than each other, and it's, like, why? Like, we're all going to die. Like, sorry, I don't want to be wicked morbid, but this is how I think about things. Like, we're all going to die. No one's gonna live forever, and, like, be happy in this short time that we're here on Earth. As simple as that. And, like, you're never going to be someone else. You're never going to turn into um, that insane uh, Instagram model that you see and you like their pictures every single day. And they have their own shit going on behind the scenes. Let me tell you that right now. Um, they're not, you know, Instagram is just a place to show all of the amazing, beautiful, wonderful things in life. And it's not... It's not real life. Um, but people forget that and people get all caught up in it, like like Pinterest. My best friend and I were just talking about, um, you know, because we just want to get things for the house and we have this idea, but we look on Pinterest, but that's not my house. Like, is it going to look the same in my house? Like, what is the vibe I'm going for? Like, it's not, um, it's not attainable sometimes. Like, some things just, like, aren't, aren't, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Is this making any sense? 
I don't know if I'm like making my like making you guys feel worse or feel better talking about this. I don't even know what I'm saying. Like for instance, I don't follow fitness accounts because they make me feel like the slobbiest flobby kebabby that ever lived because I don't like work out like that and they just make me feel bad about myself so I don't follow them. Like it's as easy as that. If there is anyone that like makes you feel like absolute crap about yourself, unfollow. It's like the best invention there ever was is that you can simply unfollow people and it makes your life a better place. God, I hate having my wet hair on the back of my neck. It drives me nuts. Um, so I don't know if any of this made sense at all. I hope I got some kind of point across. Um, did I? I don't know. The bottom line is that there's no other you and embrace every curve. If you're skinny, if you got lopsided boobs, if you got a big ass, if you got a little ass, embrace it. And when I said that, like, I went through a really hard time before I had kids and, um, you know, I'm hoping to touch on that one day. Um, I'm not ready to as of yet, but figuring out, like, I remember someone asked me, they were like, what are the hobbies that you like to do? And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, you know, I was at this place that I was so lost and I didn't know who I was and I didn't know what I liked and I didn't know, um, you know, um, kind of just like trying to like be like everyone else. Like I was trying to just fit in and like do what everyone else did. And like during that craze where every single girl was in a Victoria's Secret pink jumpsuit, like matching sweatpants with ma like I had to get all of them because like I needed to look like everyone else. And after a while I was like, ew, I don't like these. Like, I'm getting rid of all of these. I don't like this anymore. And I, you know, started wearing what I wanted to wear. And I slowly started to, like, um, venture out and, like, want to be different in a good way. Like, I just wanted to be myself. I wanted to do what I liked. And I wanted to um, look the way that I wanted to look. And once I did that, I felt confident because I was like, this is me. Like, if I want to wear a leopard fur coat to the grocery store, like, I do. Because I want to. And, like, who am I bothering? Do you know what I mean? Like, when anyone's like, oh, I have to take all this makeup off before I go to the grocery store because people are going to look at me weird. Middle fingers up. Excuse me. I know that that's inappropriate. But, like, bye. Who cares? Like, if you are you, you do you. You do what you like. And, like... You'll find people that do the same and you'll appreciate them for it. All right, my makeup is pretty much done. I need to figure out my hair and like stop looking like a slob. I have things that I need to do today, um, but that's it for me. I hope that any of that made sense. I just wanted to get that all out and I, and I want everyone to feel beautiful and feel confident and do what they want. Life's too short. Remember that. Life is way too short to let your fears run your life. And maybe this is pretty much just like me talking to myself and I need to remind my remind remind myself of that that what um I can do anything. Like if I really want to do something, I can do anything. And I just need to have the confidence in myself and tell that fear to go away and to go somewhere else and to take a nap. And I'm gonna do me. All right, guys, I think I've talked enough. I'm gonna stop talking now. I love you so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.